Okay, this video is the updated collection for the end of 22 going into 2023. Um, and I'm also going to go over some channel goals, like as far as some stuff I would like to do on the channel, some goals I have overall for the channel, some stuff I would like to do. Um, this is a thing that I plan on doing um, every year, probably like right around this time, the end of one year, beginning of another year. And I'm going to do two videos at this time, like... Um, I'm going to do one showing off the collection at the end of the year, and then I'm going to do one going over the top 10 dinosaur figures I got in the year. I know some YouTubers do the top 10 figures that came out that year, but since I get a lot of older figures, I'm going to do the top 10 figures I reviewed and the top 10 figures I got that I have not reviewed. So that's, that's a video that's going to be coming up really, really soon, probably later this week from whenever this video comes out. But yeah, this video we're going to go over the updated collection, and I'll be honest, the collection does not look how I would like it to right now. Um, I honestly probably have too many figures. I mean, I don't probably. I have too many figures for the current bookshelf I have. So I'll probably do an updated collection video whenever I get a new bookshelf. But as of right now, the collection is very cramped. And there's some figures that should be on the shelf that are not on the shelf right now. In fact, there's some figures on screen that are still in box. If the shelf had enough space, these figures would not be in the box right now. This one could definitely get out of the box. So this one... Um, is going to get reviewed out of the box because I'm not going to review the figures individually in this one, but I am going to just review the set. But this, the Velociraptor would definitely be out of the box if, um, if there was the shelf space. And I mean, I could probably squeeze it in there, but I would rather it have the adequate space. But yeah, so I'll go over the full collection on the shelf, like I said, and then we'll go over the goals and stuff for this channel and some things I would really like to do on the channel. Okay, so we're first going to start with the Tyrannosaur shelf. Um, this is probably my favorite shelf. Um, or Yeah, probably my favorite shelf on this bookshelf. Because I just think all the figures like just make a ton of sense. Like One of the shelves I'll show off is definitely my least favorite. Just because the figures don't make a ton of sense. But over half of this is T-Rex. Which makes sense, but is kind of unfortunate. But, you know, it's my collection. So I, I should have changed that if that was how I wanted it to be, but, you know, you just end up with a bunch of T-Rex figures as you collect dinosaur figures. Like, I mean, that Hammond collection figure is awesome, though. I'm not going to lie. I'm very glad that I got that figure. Um, but, yeah, T-Rex keeps going until about here, so at least half of the shelf is T-Rex. But we do have a few other Tyrannosaurus. We've got the one little Despletosaurus, the PNSO Tarbosaurus, um, the Chansusaurus, a few Albertosaurus, which... I love these two. That's my two, my pair of Albertosaurus that I love. Um, then I've got a few Gorosaurus. Then I've got the Utyrannus and the Guanlong. So that is the Tyrannosaur shelf. And like I said, I think this is my favorite shelf because I just, I think it looks the best. But the other ones, I think it looks the best out of the shelves and I think it makes the most sense. And I'll explain that as we go down. So next up we've got the... Um, Theropods that are less closely re related to birds, so like everything from Dilophosaurus to the Allosauroids. So we've got Dilophosaurus, Crylophosaurus, Ceratosaurus, Carnotaurus, Majungasaurus, Baryonyx, Spinosaurus, Carcharodontosaurus, Synraptor, Giganotosaurus, Acrocanthosaurus, Allosaurus, and We've got Mega Raptor back there, but honestly, Mega Raptor could go in three different spots on the shelf. Mega Raptor could be on that Tyrannosaur shelf, could be here, or it could be on a shelf that we'll show off in just a little bit. Now we've got the Ceratopsians, um, and also the Pachycephalosaurus, because you know Pachycephalosaurs are really closely related to the Ceratopsians. So we've got a few Pachycephalosaurs. Then we've got um, I'm blanking on the name Cetacosaurus. Um, Zuniceratops, Taurosaurus, then we've got a big bulk of Triceratops, kind of like the T-Rex shelf, but not as bad. Um, then we've got some Pentaceratops, Chasmosaurus, Bogoceratops, Pachyrhinosaurus, Styracosaurus, and Ineosaurus. Um, and if I didn't mention this, I mentioned this, I know, in one of the previous collection videos. I'll put a link to some of those if I can remember, but, um, you can organize yourself in pretty much any way you want. You can organize them by brand, formations, I would personally like classification a lot, but I understand doing a lot of those. Words. Originally, my shelf was organized by brand, and I did really like that because, like, the Carnegie collection all beside each other looked really good, but I do really like having the classification because I'm a really big classification nerd. Um, 
And now th we're moving on to my least favorite shelf, and you'll see why it's my least favorite really soon. So this is the pretty much everything that doesn't really have a great spot. So we've got the hadrosaurs, which I love the hadrosaurs. I'm gonna have a whole video really soon dedicated just to hadrosaurs. Then we've got the Manoraptora forms and Manoraptora. So all the theropods that are like more closely related to birds um, beside, after allosaurs or allosauroids, not counting tyrannosaurs because like tyrannosaurs already have their whole own shelf because they take up so much space. Originally the Manoraptora forms were on a shelf with the Tyrannosaurs in a previous collection video, but the Tyrannosaurs have just taken up a whole new spot. And then we've got the mammals, and that's why this has become my least favorite shelf. There's just too much going on on this shelf, and like I said, I don't love how the shelves look right now. That's why I'm going to be getting new bookshelves. Well, not just because they don't look good right now, because it's you'll see really soon why I definitely need new bookshelves, but I hate how this shelf looks, I'll be honest. There's too many figures on here, and I'll be on with the amount of figures on the shelf. It actually damaged one of my figures. Uh, one of these Pachycephalosaurs, the Carnegie ones, accident. Whenever I was moving a figure, it accidentally fell and knocked over this Edmontosaurus. There's the Film Museum in Titan Edmontosaurus, and it got a little chip on the leg. It's not that bad, but it annoyed me. Um, I'll just be honest. I tried to fix it for a little bit, and I think I ended up making it worse. But it's not horrible. But I definitely was a little frustrated with it. But that's, I definitely need to get new shelves because the hadrosaurs, I don't think they should be on a shelf with the mammals and the manoraptor forms for sure. Um, and then we've got a shelf that is kind of like this, like a big group of different dinosaurs, but I like this one more. So we've got this, the lighting right here is horrible, but we've got the sauropods, the stegosauroids, or stegosaurids, and the ankylosaurs. Like I said, the lighting right here is horrible. Oh, I forgot to even go over what all's in the top shelf. But we'll go over this one first. So we've got a large group of Apatosaurs, Brachiosaurs, uh, one Diplodocus, the Chimerosaurus, a Pteranodon, uh, Saltosaurus, a Margosaurus. And then we've got this Tanystrophius here, the Imposter Sauropod, because it's not at all a sauropod. It's not, even, it's not a, even a dinosaur, but, you know, it's got this long neck, and I just don't really have another good place to put it. So for right now... It'll be the imposter sauropod. Uh, then we've got the stegosaurs, uh, which is pretty much just stegosaurus. Um, there's one kentrosaurus, and I think a tuojangosaurus or decentrus. I'm not for sure. It's the pterobabatat one. I want to say decentrus, actually, but I'm not for sure on that. Um, and then we've got the ankylosaurus, which is Cychania, actually. Ankylosaurus, sauropelta, and I think that's it. And then we've also got the lime dimetric on here, which actually, whenever the I have enough space, it will be with the prehistoric mammals, but there's just not enough space right there right now. Then we've also got the Schleich mini Quetzalcoatlus. Um, and then that figure, which is either Anguara or Ornithocyrus. I think it's actually labeled Anguara, but I think it looks more like an Ornithocyrus, but that's I think that's what it's labeled as at least. So we'll go back up to this shelf. So, we've got the penis olambiosaurus. Then we've got two baby hippacrosaurus. I would love to get that adult one to pair with these ones. Um, then we've got that Carnegie Corythosaurus. We've got a herd of Parasaurolophus or Parasaurolophus, whatever you want to say. Then we've got Myosaura. We've got that Anatotitan, which, like I said, unfortunately got a little damage. Then we've got the Gryposaurus or Gryposaurus. Um, then we've got the Solorosaurus or the Manoraptoriforms. Um, Dinochirus. Um, Nanchiungosaurus, I want to say, is that... Um, that Therizine sword. Oh, also that um, Iguanodon, which goes more with the Hadrosaurs, but I forgot to mention it. And then we've got a few Velociraptors, one baby Utah Raptor, some Oviraptors, Therizinosaurus. Um, yeah, a good little bit of Velociraptor, which makes sense. Then we've got the prehistoric mammals. We've got Vitacurus, I want to say. Um, I can't remember. I think it's a Glyptodon or Glymptodon is the other... Um, prehistoric large armadillo, but I'm not for sure about that one. It, off the top of my head, at least. Um, then we've got the Severtooth Cats, or the Smilodons. Then we've got the Giant Ground Sloth. We've got the Ambelodon, the Megaloceros, and some Mammoths back there. And now you all are going to really see why I need updated shelves. We've got a good bit of figures that are not even on the shelf. So we've got the two Andrew Sarkis, which I definitely could squeeze on that mammal shelf, but 
I know they're getting reviewed really soon, so I just didn't see any point in putting them on there. Then we've got the um, Liplorodon, the Mosasaurus, some Dinosuchus, um, Dunkleosteus, some Plesiosaur from Papo. I'm not for sure exactly what that one was marketed as. Either Plesiosaur, Plesiosaurus, Elasmosaurus. I don't know what it was marketed as, but marketed as, but that's what it is. Um, and then we've got a few Mosasaurs, uh, the Safari LTD Mosasaurus, the Carnegie Mosasaurus, and the Carnegie Tylosaurus. And then we've got um, a Jurassic Park Velociraptor, the Hammond Dilophosaurus, and an old Jurassic Park Velociraptor, or not Velociraptor, old Jurassic Park Dilophosaurus. And here's a little teaser at the prehistoric mammals, or not prehistoric mammals, but just the regular mammals, which I will be showing off in the future. Um, these are a few I got out of some shell or some storage, and I will get some more out, but these are just the ones I got for now. Um, we got some bison, which I used as um, the prehistoric bison from, um, I can't remember what that, pre I think it's prehistoric predators, the prehistoric mammal documentary. I use those with the um, saber tooth and stuff a lot, because just watching that documentary, I knew that they existed. Um, and then we've got an elephant, a hippo, uh, some wolves which I also used because of the dire wolves. And then we've got the um, moose, a, a boar, uh, an ibex, and an anteater. So a little, oh, and a bobcat or um, lynx. I'm not for sure which one that's supposed to be. I know bobcats are technically a type of lynx, but I'd like to be a little specific. I think it's supposed to be a bobcat, but I'm not for sure. But yeah, that's, we also have some stuff in here. Here's some of my like extra Jurassic Park figures and the minis. Um, the Safari LTD minis, some just random stuff, some like tags and stuff, and just other random Jurassic Park and other stuff in there. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much the full collection. But as you can see, I do like some of it a lot. The Tyrannosaur shelf specifically, I think it's a big highlight in the collection. I think it looks awesome. But the rest, I think, could definitely use some work. Also going with the reason why um, I need the updated shelves is because there's still, like I said, how there's still some figures that aren't even on the shelf. There's still some figures that are in box. Uh, and I already did show off these, but um, we have one other Beast of the Mesozoic Raptor. And then we've got this big, huge Papo Spinosaurus, um, which definitely is not going to fit in the frame. But, yeah, <laughs> He's here as well, so definitely I'm going to need some more shelving. And I definitely plan on, I'm just, we're kind of struggling on this side which shelf to get that's like the best for the price. Because like I've seen the Ikea ones, and I, I've heard very mixed reviews on the Ikea shelves. So, and we've looked at Home Depot and some other things. And I'm definitely going to get new bookshelves. I hope to get them probably, I would love to get them in this month, but I don't know how realistic that is, but... Yeah, that's what the, the current situation is. Uh, and But I do now want to go over the um, like goals for this channel. So one thing that I would really like to do on this channel is to go to a museum and like record some stuff, like some, just some of the fossils and stuff. Like I definitely want to go to like a dinosaur museum. What I really want to go to is either the film museum, because that's the one I went to when I was younger, or go to the um, the Carnegie Museum, because, you know, I'm a big Carnegie fan. A, a big portion of my collection is the Carnegie collection, so I've got a lot of love for the Carnegie Museum due to that. So I definitely would love to go to one of those two museums. And, you know, then we could definitely pick up some figures in the gift shop. And I'm sure the gift shop figures are a little overpriced, but... I would definitely be fine with paying a little bit more at the museum. Um, and then I also want to mention our subscriber like goals. So as of right now, I think we hit 150 either right at the start of this new year or right at the end of last year. Either way, I can't thank you all enough for getting us to 150. And that was on recording less than a full year. So I'm shocked that we were get, able to get all the way up to 150. Um, if I would have known we got to 100 by the end of this year, when I started recording this channel, I wouldn't have believed you, but to be at 150, I, I'm so happy. But my goal for the end of this year, so last year I had, I started in like May, so I had like two thirds of the year, I think that would be. My goal for the end of this year is to get to 300, which is a lot, 
but I think we could definitely double with a full extra year. And that's my realistic goal. So I definitely think we can get up to 300 if I consistently upload. But my really hopeful goal, which is very optimistic, or my really optimistic goal, which I would really, I think is definitely possible, but I don't know how probable it is, would be 500 subscribers, which is huge. And like I said, getting 100 was huge for me. So 300 is my realistic goal, but 500 is my super optimistic goal. So hopefully we get somewhere in between those two. Well, hopefully we get over, we get 500, but if we could get in between 300 and 500, I would be super excited. So, but that's what the current situation is as far as the future goals. I would definitely love to go to the museum and obviously I'm still going to do reviews and stuff and I'm going to pick up on like the controversial cases and stuff, some stuff like that. Uh, there's going to be a lot of reviews though, because I mean, I've picked up a lot of figures lately and I don't think that's going to stop anytime soon. Um, but yeah, and also, like I said, there is going to be a really cool video coming out tomorrow or maybe not tomorrow, but later this week going over my top 10 figures that I got this year. So I think that will be a really fun video. And I did want to go over one more thing. I did want to make a slight little apologies thing here at the end because I could have recorded way more in the past two weeks. Um, I definitely planned on recording more, but stuff just came up, you know, with Christmas and stuff. This was my Christmas break, so I definitely had time to upload more, but I'll be honest. I'll, I'm just going to be 100% honest. I played a lot of Pokemon Scarlet after Christmas. I pretty much beat the game, I think. Um, uh, I mean, I beat the main storyline, but, like, the legendaries and stuff I haven't done yet. And I normally don't do that in all the games I play, so I might not even end up doing that. But I played that, and it I, it took me a little bit, honestly, because in that game you can kind of do whatever from the start. And I started out going a little out of order, and then I realized that the levels were kind of weird. So I was like, I need to figure out the right way to do this. So then I ended up doing the right way, and it, it's a really fun game. And if you like Pokemon, I definitely think Pokemon Scarlet is a really fun game to get. Um, so I did that. And then, um, my family, like me and some of my cousins, we go through Fortnite spurts. And I know that's kind of a very mixed review game because a bunch of people did like it. And now it's kind of a hated on game. And I definitely see why it gets hated on, but I do personally enjoy playing it every now and then. And we go through spurts of we'll play it really hard for about two weeks and then not touch it again for months. And I think that's what this was. So I just didn't record as much as I'd planned on, um, but like that Andrew Sarkis video I'd planned on coming out for like two weeks now, but this there's probably going to be three videos at least that come up now before the Andrew Sarkis video because this, that updated the top 10 figures and then the um, the dinosaur drawings of the month. So yeah, it's that Andrew Sarkis video has kind of got pushed back, but I did say it would be the next individual figure review and it is technically going to be the next individual figure review. It's just not going to be the next video that comes up, but yeah. I do want to thank you all so much for watching. Thank you. I want to thank you all so much for giving me up to 150 subscribers and so much more because this channel is fun to make on its own, but it's so much more fun when I see people enjoy it.